Hi friends, today we are going to see demo on Snowflake Secure that direct data sharing using SnowSight. That is the new UI for the Snowflake uh, replacement or uh, not a replacement, but you can say the enhanced version of uh, classic web UI. And as you know that Snowflake data sharing only works in the same region. Hence, uh, you can either share data using another full account in the same region if consumer is a Snowflake user or you can create a reader account or the managed account and share the data for all non-Snowflake users. Data sharing can only be done using account admin or equivalent privilege users. So let's start with some demo. So you can see that I am already connected with the Snow site, but if you don't know how to open that, so when you are connected with your uh, account in Snowflake, just click on Snow site and it will open the new open open the new snow site window once that is open you can just see here like uh, if you click on the home you can click on the box sheet and uh, you can go on the sheet i already have one sheet uh, prepared with all the codes i will just quickly show you how to do that using snow site the basic step of creating a database will still remain the same that i am go going to use the uh, code so uh, first of all i am just going to use the role account admin because without that i will not able to uh, create any share i'm going to create the same database in the schema which i was using for a previous demo and i'm going to use the view in the table out of the snowflake sample data database so now you can see that the database has been created if i refresh share on the left hand side you will see that the database uh, diet share demo and the diet share schema is already created there is one table and there is one view on there now i am going to just click on the home under data and the share data when i click and if i click shared by my account you will see that there is nothing which is shared by my account and i'm currently logged in as an account admin so if I click here on share data, share with other account and if I click here and select this one, diet share and I will click on table and view. So two objects, one table, one view are directly selected and click on done. And then I have to give, give the like uh, share using no site. And then I have to give the account name. So uh, as I have used earlier, uh, I'm currently reusing my reader account for this demo as well. So I'm clicking here and just click on create share. So now you will see that one share has been created uh, by my ID. And you can see that the ECME reader is the reader account which I created. And a description is what share using Snow site. And you can see that only one table and one view are be currently shared. So now if I go and uh, connect to my uh, read-only user, so if I connect as Martin redirect me, so here I don't have to uh, go incognito mode, I can just switch my user and now I'm connected as Martin reader as this admin. So if I click here, uh, sorry not here, if I click on data, on share data, I will not see anything. But the moment I switch it to account admin, I will start seeing the date database which I shared with this reader account. So you can see that the tariff share demo snowflake secure asset. This is the auto generated name by default of the share because I didn't create any name, didn't given any name. So this is the share which is created automatically using the snow site. Now I have to just click on get shared data and then I can uh, name it as customer underscore s like the previous demo i don't want to use the uh, very long name so i replaced the shared name with the database name so now database name is more convenient and small and which role i want to give i will just give it to public role like i did for the previous demo i will click on get data now if i go on databases you will see that the customer s shared database is there I can see all the table and the view which I share as part of uh, data sharing. 
now if i go on uh, compute and if i go on warehouse i will see there is one warehouse but i want to add the privileges so i will just click here and i will select that uh, public role and i will give the privilege of uses of this warehouse i will give grant the privilege and then i will go on account on the user and as you can see only one user i will just quickly add one user i will just name it as read only user and i will just give some dummy email id so that i can progress this was not a mandatory field in the classic web ui but it's mandatory over here so i will just give the password i will leave the uh, comment i will just remove the force user uh, change password option i will click on advanced option and just choose the default role as public default warehouse as small warehouse and i will just click on create user now that you can see that my new user has been created owner is account admin uh, status is enabled and it's a read only user now if i go here click here and just switch my uh, user to read only user i will be able to do that without uh, switching the window or going incognito mode and i will just give the i not sure why it came here but uh, if i click like this i will able to continue and uh, log in maybe uh, i dropped the user that is the reason i was not able to do that but anyways if i go and now if i go and switch my user to uh, martin reader acme i will able to do that you can you can see over here and if i again click here and say uh, reader account right read only user it will bring me to the read only user i don't have to give the password the password is only required if you drop the user so now you can see that the default uh, role is public assigned to the read only user and if i want to switch i can't because i only have the public user and if i uh, click on the compute you can see there is only one warehouse which is assigned to me which i uh, allocated at the time of uh, creation of the share and then if i go on worksheet and just say view new worksheet and i can see the customer as database and the schema and the table and the view which was there so i can easily say select star from uh, I can just click the place the name in the tape skills and then if I click here you will see that I am able to see all the data which is there currently right so I am able to query the data using the uh, read only uh, user and that entire database is and uh, share is being created using the snow site which is very easy now now it's very simple you don't have to remember lots of step and the uh, code uh, in the classic web UI, you have to write all the code in a proper sequence, all the grants and everything. And now you don't have to do all the stuff. Just create the database which you want to share and go on the snow site and just click on few uh, things. Next, next. And then it's done. Like uh, it's now it's very simple and it's more convenient for the even for the new user who want to just use the share feature. And all the other thing remains same like there is no change on the functionality of the feature or the usability of the reader account like if I want to drop the database drop database customer s I'm not able to do that if I click here I don't have the privilege if I want to update uh, something on this table say I want to update the C address uh, to null see if I am able to do that so I am not able to do any kind of a DML operation uh, sorry I think I forgot the set keyword so if I now execute it will say me insufficient privilege yeah operation is not supported in the DR card so any kind of a DML operation or DDL operation or any kind of operation except select is not possible in the reader account not even drop database so reader account is 100 percent secure if your customer is not on the snowflake world and still want to uh, get uh, want to leverage the feature of data sharing and to 
reduce all of other uh, external things uh, or the external technology you have to use to share the data with your end customer is going to be reduced your throughput will be increased because now it is a live database if i change anything on the source it will reflect in a second into the consumer end in the user account or in the full account but uh, i don't need to do any kind of extract import or i need to maintain anything and uh, i don't have to like it's scalable fully so uh, i really like this feature of secure data sharing guys if you uh, like this demo please subscribe to my channel and like the video